Hey guys, what is up? It's FGB here today. So I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how I like to put my settings and preferences in Sony Movie Studio Platinum 13, which is what I use to edit and uh, render my videos for YouTube. So I'm going to show you the best settings that I use for YouTube, uh, all the stuff that I basically use on a daily basis for rendering and editing videos when I upload them. So uh, this is just a welcome screen when you, this is what, every time you open up uh, this program, you're going to get this. It's going to hit new. Um, unless you want to watch their tutorials, but I mean, you're kind of watching mine, so I think you're watching this one for a tutorial. Um, you keep everything as is here. Um, you can change your folder where you want that to go. Uh, you can change that as well. Then you just press OK. Uh, what I do here is properties. I really would just leave this alone because you really don't have to change this. You can do that in the make movie part. This is... So I find a lot of bugs when you change this, so just leave it as it makes it, and you should be okay. So um, this is where you'd add in your video and all your audio files, all down in there, edit it. Then once you have all those down there, you click Make Movie. Well, I guess we're going to have to put something there, for example. So here, just give me a song here, because we can do that easily. So we just put in uh, one of these songs, Make Movie. So once this opens up, you're going to have Render As. Um... I guess I actually have to put in a video. So let me just find a video and I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, sorry about that little goof there. Um, I got just got this. I think this was me doing the cinnamon challenge or something. I just found this on my desktop. So this basically you have your different areas of editing. So you have, oh, what a great picture right there of my crotch, guys. <laughs> so um, you have on the side here, you have a text layer, which I don't know why I put that in there, but it could also be... This is just from having it last time. This is because I add tracks in sometimes. So you have your. This is what you'll start with: your video, audio, and music. I don't know if music will always be there, but I always make sure you can always add insert audio or video tracks there. So then you can always cut them. You hit this. You hit the split button. It splits it and all that kind of fun stuff. You can cut stuff out. I'm not really gonna do it. How to teach you how to edit in this video? Um, if you want me to maybe do a video on that later in the future, go ahead and tell me about that. Um. You can see delicious cinnamon, guys. Um, so once you're here and you have your video, you're happy with all the editings that you've done, and you're all good. You put it in. It's all ready to go. You go into Make Movie, and now that you're here, you're going to want to save it to my hard drive. You do not want to upload it straight to YouTube. That's something that people do, and it's not good. You want to upload it to YouTube through their website. You don't want to use a third-party application to upload. It just doesn't come out as well. So you want to save it to your hard drive, MP4, um... You could save it as something else, but I always do MP4s. I find it to be the best, even though it's a bigger file. It takes longer to upload, but I always find this the best for me. So, MP4, and then you go to Advanced Options. So I already have one pre-made for myself for YouTube 60 FPS, because this is what, how, what I'm going to teach you guys to do, how to make this. So, you're going to start. Um, you're going to want to go, make sure you click on Sony AVC slash MVC. That's the correct one to go under. You just want to go up to Internet 9... nine 1920 by 1080, 30p, and I'm just going to customize my template that I already, you know, no, I'll do it with you guys. So once I'm here, customize this template. Um, you can name it like I did to YouTube 60 FPS, and you'll hit the save button at the end here. So you're going to want to keep it on AVC, keep the resolution as it is. Profile, high, keep that the same. Encoding's fine. Frame rate, you're going to want to change that up to 60, 59, so you do that. Um, pixel, axel, pixel aspect ratio, keep that on 1.0. I put this all the way up because I have a higher PC, keeps the rendering better. Uh, if you have a GPU in your graphics card, then use GPU if available, put it on that. And if not, if your CPU is higher, then go ahead and use CPU. That all depends on your computer, I really can't help you guys with that. Audio, I put mine up to 320, and sample rate stays there, all this stays the same. And the rest, you could check your GPU actually right there if you wanted to. So That's all I do, video and audio, that's really all you have to do, and you can check your GPU if you'd like. Then once you're done with that, click save, and I'm not going to because I already have one made. And you could always favorite it, so you can have filters, show favorites only if you'd like, and you're going to have only that one right there. Then once you hit that, you're going to see where you want to save it to. I save mine on my desktop, put the name.mp4, and click render. Then it'll have a little screen pop up and render, but I'm not going to render it right now because there's no reason for me to render it. Um, because I don't have to upload this. But uh, that's basically it, guys. That was just a quick uh, tutorial on how I put my render settings in this program. Um, I prefer this program over 
Sony Vegas, it's just preference really, which one do you like better? This one is easier to use, so I like it. And uh, this is a great starting program, guys. I know it's actually a very expensive program, so if you're not able to afford it, then uh, you can always try out uh, Windows Movie Maker. But if you have money, you're able to buy the program, then uh, yeah, it's a great, great program to use, guys. And uh, thanks for watching the video, and uh, peace out, guys.